Good morning. Just sharing a devotional thought from the Heart of Hope. Uh, much of the tension of the Christian life is the tension between the new me and the old me. Between what is being made new in Christ, this gift that's given beyond all measure, beyond imagination, and the old me that still lurks, that still prowls, that still hangs on, the old me that I still give the thumbs up to so often. The old me who's full of selfishness and bitterness and greed, envy, lust. The old me is a, is a constant companion, I would say, on the road of, of life in this world. And, uh, and Christians are not uh, ones who are exempt from it. On the contrary, Christians are the ones who are awake to it. Christians are the ones who should be aware of it. Much of the Bible wakes us up to that reality of the brokenness and sinfulness of our old selves. And, and then at the same time, freely with both hands wide open, both arms stretched wide, you have the Father offering us this new life in His Son, Jesus. And it is the new me. That's where the new me lives, is in the arms of my Savior. And, uh, and in some sense, we won't see that full version until heaven. We won't see the, the new Christian or the new Don or the new uh, Danny, whatever your name is, you know. The, you won't see the new version of yourself until the resurrection and, or until you get to heaven itself. Um, but there is down payment and there is already glimpses and tastes of it that are meant to call us higher and deeper. Uh, one of my favorite uh, passages comes from Ephesians chapter 1 where the Apostle Paul says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be He, right? Like, bless His name, speak His name lovingly, let everyone praise this God. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. So everything that's available in the heavenly places, every spiritual blessing is already ours. Some of it we might not see fully until heaven and the resurrection, but in some sense it's already ours. And so things like joy and peace and patience, things that we lament and we wish we had more of, to some extent are available. And maybe it's ours to step into, but, but again, the tension of the Christian life is we have to be, uh, we have to live in this new reality and ask for it and call for it and grow in it, but also have to be honest about why that doesn't happen and honest about the broken side of us, honest about the failures, the mistakes, honest about the selfishness and the sin. Uh, but be not discouraged, be of good cheer, says Jesus. Do not be afraid, I have overcome the world. So lean into your resurrection self today, lean into this new life, the new you, and be honest about the old you. Uh, apologize where you need to come to the Lord and ask Him for newness. Um, be honest with your kids and grandkids, be honest with your parents, whatever it looks like with your friends about where you come short. Because you know as a Christian there is a whole new thing being offered and you are not defined or tied to that old self. It's something that we uh, something that we release day by day. So bless you, bless you, bless you, and blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places.